Welcome everybody to my weekly vlog. Just a few minutes of your time to give you a little more food for thought. I'm sitting here today next to this beautiful depiction of the goddess Tara. And in many uh, traditions, she represents compassion. I have her here. She came home with me from India in 2019. She and I got out of India just before the borders closed, before the COVID shutdowns. She occupies a special position in my home, reminding me about the power of self-compassion. The reason this matters to me and it matters to you is because we're living in a time where I mentioned in last week's vlog, there is so much systemic illness of the mind and of the body. As a registered nurse of coming on 50 years, I've not ever seen this level of illness, this level of ill health throughout the population. It's not just confined to elders, is it? How many people do you know who are young and seemingly healthy and fit, who have excellent access to Western medical health care, and they've got an autoimmune disease? Might be Crohn's, also known as colitis, might be lupus, might be multiple sclerosis, people with cardiovascular events, people having strokes, lots of people with cancer, how about mental illnesses, depression, anxiety? It's become a norm. Why? Because we're living in an age of inflammation. We're living at a time where our minds are so overloaded with information, and so much of that inflammation, information is unpleasant and stressful. Our bodies respond with a stress response, which means stress hormones come into our system, and in many cases, stay there and stay there and they bathe our organs they bathe our nervous system in fight or flight response we end up inflamed inflammation equals disease okay that's a quick primer i'll be talking more about this in the future and i have some programming coming up to address this but for today's vlog purposes i wanted to bring tara in to remind us about the importance of self-compassion the importance of softening our perception about ourself and about suffering. You see, when we turn on the inner critic, doubt, self-criticism, reliving past memories and traumas, when those things are with us for a lot of the time, we're in chronic stress response. So let's learn to practice self-compassion. And I'm attaching a short audio to this week's email that I invite you to practice around self-compassion so you can build neural pathways. We can all build neural pathways that help turn off the stress response and decrease inflammation. Trust me, it's a good idea to not live in a chronically inflamed state. We'll be talking more about that in the future. In the meantime, enjoy your self-compassion practice from the goddess herself via me. Namaste.